All right, guys. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's go install this Google Nest thermostat and let's get everything working and uh, hope you guys enjoy this journey with me. So I made things worse. So last night I was trying to remove the security system since we don't use that company anymore. So instead of having like three or four different security system panels still left on the wall, we decided to rip it off the wall and just use our new security system. So whenever I ripped off one of the cables, I screwed up our thermostat for our AC and heat. So now it just constantly blows hot air. So we tried to move the wire and see like if we could figure out where it's busted, can't do that. So I was like, I got this great idea. I'm going to move the thermostat down to the basement. And as soon as I said that out loud, I realized how dumb that actually was. So I've been planning on upgrading our thermostat to the new Nest thermostats for a while now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that this weekend. I gotta get new cable, I gotta rewire everything. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't screw anything else up and make this harder for me because it's supposed to be like almost 100 degrees today. So I'd like some AC. So let's see what happens. I'm here at Lowe's, so let's go see what I can get. All right, so I ended up not getting the Nest thermostat at Lowe's. It was $50 more than Amazon Prime. So I'm just gonna have to wait a day or two to get that, but I'm gonna install the new wires, get everything set up, and then just reinstall the old thermostat for the time being. And then once the Nest thermostat comes in, I'll go ahead and throw that on and this project will be done hopefully, pending no more hiccups. All right, since I've never done this before, this is the wire I was pulling on when I screwed up my AC and heat system. That is the crawl space that I have to go back into and rewire this AC unit. Luckily, it's nice and cool down here, unlike upstairs. So I went ahead and I moved the thermostat up against this wall here. That way we can have AC while I work upstairs and hopefully cool down the house a little bit because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to move the wire through the walls and stuff. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well and I can get this thing done quickly. All right, so that took way longer than it should have. My hair is disgusting now from being there. But this is why it took so much longer. Look in there, that's all the cables I removed from like the wall and everything else. But other than that, I'm pretty much done down here. So let's go ahead and come back here. I'm gonna put that extension pole. Boom. Up the sketchy stairs one last time. As you can see, I didn't go through and take out all the security wires. It's just, it take way too much time. But I've got the new cable coming down. I'm gonna run it across that beam across. I'm gonna go above the beam. That way it's like out of sight, out of mind. Over to here down the wall and then through the port that the old hole used so that's the game plan now hopefully it'll only take me another 15 to 20 minutes but just like look at that it's like just a rat's nest down here so clearly got some work to do you know in the coming months so i guess i found my next project we're in my office really quick and i just wanted to go over really quickly kind of what's going on with these wires not gonna get into the electronics of the furnace and AC system. I'm just gonna explain what each wire does and that's enough to get us through this project. So on a typical AC system, um, nowadays we use five wires. Uh, older systems are only gonna have three wires. So that's gonna cause a little bit of an issue when you're upgrading your thermostat. So make sure you check how many wires you have and you can do that by just pulling off your thermostat and seeing how many wires are coming through the wall. Typically, most construction nowadays are gonna have five wires and they might just tuck the two extra wires behind the wall if that thermostat didn't need those wires. But assuming that you have a five wire system, if you have a three wire system, you're gonna wanna check which smart thermostat you wanna buy and see what they can do to uh, accommodate that. There are systems that can handle three wire and still be a smart thermostat. And all that, that those extra wires are doing is providing you a constant circuit to where you can power up your touch screen that's on the smart device. So to dig in, the first wire that you're gonna do is gonna be your blue or black wire, and that's gonna be your common wire, better known as the C wire for HVAC. 
The next wire is gonna be your red wire, which is gonna be your 24 volts AC current wire, and then your green, white, and yellow. Those are gonna be your signal wires to turn on your different systems. Green is your fan, yellow is your AC, and white is your heat. Uh, in some older systems and some higher end systems, you're gonna have a RH wire and an RC wire, and those are just dedicated powers for your heating and cooling system. But most systems don't have that. But if your system does have that, most smart thermostats have a place to plug it in. So it's not a huge issue one way or the other if you have those two wires or you don't. So if you're having to run new wire, my recommendation to you is go ahead and get 18.5, which is gonna be your standard thermostat wire. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, they've got that in the section. They'll say thermostat wire 18.3 or 18.5. Some people try to go cheap and just do 18.3, but just pay the extra couple dollars to get that 18.5. That way you never have any issues in the future. Don't go cheap because most of the time it's gonna bite you in the butt on the back end. So the way the AC unit works is you're gonna have a furnace with a control board in it somewhere in your house. In my house, it's in the garage. Uh, <clears throat> in my apartment, it was uh, in like a utility closet outside and then you're gonna have your thermostat location somewhere in the house. Some houses have more than one thermostat location, but all that is is it's just relay uh, wires connecting them. Most of the time it's via Wi-Fi nowadays, so it's actually only taking that signal to one location, and then all of your thermostats are connected Wi-Fi, so wirelessly across your house. So in this situation, we're just gonna look at wiring to one location using a five-wire system, and that's what I have in my house to a thermostat. So I originally had like a Honeywell standard box store. Everybody's seen that thermostat. I'll show it in just a second. I'll throw a little picture right here. And then, so basically what the issue with that was is I like to change the temperature, but I hate getting up to go get to like the thermostat and change it. I like having the app control so I can raise and lower the temperature, turn it on or off, as well as to sync it with the Ohm Connect program. I'll link a video right here for Ohm Connect awesome program that's made me a ton of money. So go ahead and check out that video if you're interested in that. But let's get back to the thermostat. So I switched over to the Nest thermostat. I wasn't originally gonna do it when I decided to do it, but unfortunately I was trying to remove a couple old security panels. They just had them stacked one on top of another. Two of them were completely turned off and I was turning off the third one because I decided to go with a different security company. So I didn't want you know a bunch of touch screens there that don't do anything. So I was pulling them out and unfortunately the wire was wrapped around my thermostat wire and I pulled a little too hard and I kinked my thermostat wire, which caused my heat to constantly run. So I knew I had to replace a chunk of the wire. Unfortunately, it was in between my main floor and the basement area. So I couldn't just splice the wires together and make a quick, easy fix. So I decided I'm just gonna rerun that wire that way I know exactly where it's going. It's not a weird path like they had it originally. They had it like twisted and wrapped around pipes. I don't like doing that and make it nice, clean, and simple. So that's what we did for the thermostat wire. Uh, you can see me in the crawl space earlier. That was kind of gross. So I didn't film a lot in there, but all I was doing is I was running the wire from one location to the other location and just using little clips to clip it onto the wall. I do not like using nails, like the U-nails to hold wires in place because if you just hit a little too hard, you kind of uh, pinch the wires and I don't like doing that. So I like any clips that won't hold it on. Uh, Home Depot and Lowe's all carry them. Typically it's right next to the wire. It's like a little plastic clip that has a screw in it and the screw doesn't put any tension on the wire. So that's what I like to use. But going from the thermostat location in your house, you're gonna have your wire that goes down into there. So in my house, it's more like I go down the wall, over, down, over, jog back up, and then into the thermostat. But for simplicity's sake, let's just say it's just straight to the wire. All right, so at the wire here, you're gonna have your five wires and your five wires. The key to making sure you do this right is use logic, all right? Every board is labeled. You know, Y is gonna stand for yellow. So don't try to create this whole new system. Go with the standards. So put your yellow wire where the yellow wire is supposed to go. So yellow to W doesn't make sense. So don't do it. So let's just keep it nice, clean, and simple because that is how people mess it up. So prior to installing any wiring, we wanna kill the breaker to the AC system to where we don't accidentally cause a short across things. The boards typically have a fuse on them. 
So if you look right here, uh, I'm gonna insert a picture of what that fuse looks like on the board, <coughs> just in case you did not turn off the AC unit. But I like to just make sure I kill all power to the furnace. That way I don't have to worry about it and I can wire it up really quickly. So for mine, all I did is I brought the new five wire in and I just pulled out my old five wire and I went wire for wire. I put the white wire right back where the white wire was, the yellow wire right where the yellow wire was. So super simple, but the boards are labeled. Go per the labeling on the board. Don't try to be creative because in the end, it's gonna bite you in the butt, especially if a professional electrician ever needs to work on the system or you wanna replace it. That's just gonna cause all sorts of headaches you do not want. So go per the labeling on the system. All right, so all the AC system does is that red wire is gonna be connected via your thermostat to either your white or your yellow wire inside circuitry wise. And that's telling your system to turn on and turn off based on the temperature reading of your thermostat. <clears throat> or if your app tells the, ther the thermostat to turn it off, then it disconnects that connection, thus telling your system to turn off. So at this end, we're gonna have five wires. And at this end, we have five wires all connected in. So depending on the type of thermostat you use will be the, the connections. So let's go ahead and let's jump over to my Nest thermostat that I have wired up. And I'm gonna show you guys how that's wired. And then right after that, we're gonna jump down to the garage and look at the furnace control board and see how that's wired up. It'll make a lot more sense once we dig into that because you're gonna be able to see how the wires connect in. It is so simple. Like if you're smart enough to change out a light switch, you can handle upgrading a thermostat without paying a handyman because they're gonna charge you 100 to 200 bucks to update a thermostat just because they're charging you to come out and see your house. So just take five seconds, take a deep breath, it's not hard. Go downstairs, flip the breaker, go back up, check to make sure your thermostat is off, go check the furnace to make sure all the, any lights on that are off. And then super simple, if you don't need to change out the wiring on your house, you just pull off your old thermostat. <clears throat> With the Nest, they give you little uh, stickers that you can put on the wires, but you don't really need those because everything should be color coded. Just make sure before you remove it from the wall, you take a picture of it. That is your safety measure, all right? Now set your phone down and make sure that the wires match up color wise like you would expect. You know, black wire goes to your common spot, which is typically marked by a C. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a list of abbreviations right here. Unfortunately, I still haven't got the new markers for the whiteboard. So pretty much the only thing that shows up on this is black. So I'm gonna throw right here a nice little, you know, text blocks of what each wire stands for and what the typical symbols on a board are. <clears throat> that way you can just quickly go through and check to make sure everything lines up. As long as everything lines up, you're good to remove those wires and just plug it straight into your new thermostat as easy as unplugging an outlet from the wall. All right, guys, now we're upstairs next to the next thermostat. Pretty much every thermostat works the same way. There's either a release button underneath or you just pull it straight off. So the Nest is just a pull straight off application. So let's just pull it off. And this is what it looks like. We've got a nice little level bubble here and then two screws to screw this back plate in and then the wire coming through the wall. And you can see that the yellow wire is connected to the yellow point. The green wires connect to the green point. The white wires connect to the W point. Um, the blue wire, which is our common wire, which is either gonna be black or blue. It just depends on where you're at and what type of wire you're getting. But that's gonna be your C wire. And then your red wire on this system is gonna go to our red hot because this one only uses either RH or RC. So with this one, we just wire it here and then internally it can transfer the power without needing a separate wire for the RC. So that's just how this one works. Every thermostat on that side is a little different. So you wanna make sure you check that and then up here is where all the other touch panels were for the security system that I ripped out and I just went ahead and quickly plastered it over. I haven't retextured this wall yet to make it match, but it works for now. So let's go ahead and place this guy back on. And voila, it's back and up and working. All right guys, I'm down in the garage. I got these giant metal pillars in the way, unfortunately. So it's a little hard to get in here. So I'm just gonna show you what we're looking at first, and then I'm gonna get you guys in for a close up to where you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. But here is the two thermostat wires coming in. One of them's coming from the thermostat upstairs, and the other one is going outside to our AC condenser unit. So just figuring out which one it is right here comes in, and you can see right here, we've got five wires. And this one is also a five wire, but 
the extra wires are just snipped right here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer, that way you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here, that top one says G, so it's green. The next one says yellow, so it's got a yellow wire going to it and a white wire, so I'll explain that in just a second. And then this one right here is the white wire, this one right here is a blue wire, and then this is the red wire. So that blue wire is the common that we were talking about earlier. This is our constant hot, and then this is our cooling, our AC, and our fan. So the reason why, if you look carefully, the right here, the yellow wire is going there that goes to the thermostat, but the exterior AC condenser unit is bringing a white wire there. And that's just a weird way to do it, but there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. It's just different systems interconnecting. And then this is the fuse I was talking about earlier. So if this was energized, this control board, there'd be a green light right here. And that's just the type of fuse I like to use. So these will light up green whenever it's got power across it. And then there's also ones that uh, only have the green light whenever it blows. So it just depends on what type of fuse you put in there. But that's a three amp fuse and it tells you right there. But we don't have to worry about that. We're just worrying about these five spots. And as we can see, the five wires coming from upstairs come into here and we just replace those one for one across it. And just to show you. All right, guys. So on this system, you've got your thermostat, wire running to your furnace slash furnace control board. And then you've also got another wire coming out of here that's gonna go out to your AC condenser unit if you have an AC. So typically, the wiring coloring on that is a little bit different. It just depends on the system and who installed it. Just be careful with that one. But the general rule of thumb is if you need to replace a wire, match it color for color. So if the red wire was there before, put the red wire back there again. And that's gonna be the easiest way to handle it. And just remember, take pictures, just in case you think you memorized it and then all of a sudden you didn't. Make sure you look at those pictures to make sure they're not blurry. Have fun with it, you know, it's not the end of the world. Worst case is, is that you mess up and you call out a handyman and they fix it. Like you were gonna hire a handyman anyway to do it, so you might as well try it first and if you mess up, then have the handyman fix it. So go ahead and give it a shot and uh, it's clearly my time to stop because my cat is at the door crying to come in. Come here kitty kitty, mommy let you in? Come here. Do you love daddy so much you can't be away from him? Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Huh? You don't like this, do you? You don't like this? Is it time to go? Okay. Well, my cat is saying it is time to end this video. So until next time, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up below. It really helps more than you can ever imagine, as well as subscribe and hit that bell because I've got some really cool projects coming up. My next project is most likely going to be redoing my laundry room to make it not look like a mess. Always love trying new projects. And like I said in the beginning, I did not know how to do this before. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, in the comment section below, I'm going to link a couple uh, websites I use that just great general knowledge for how an AC system works. I'm not an expert, so if you don't feel comfortable doing this, go ahead and pay a handyman. There's no shame in tapping out, but honestly, this one is a pretty simple one that I think anybody can do. Until next time, thanks for watching.